Libya, where airstrikes conducted by the United States on ISIL bases have killed more than 40 people. The mayor of Sabratha said that a building in the city west of the capital Tripoli had been hit. It is said the bombed building was being used by Tunisians, including ISIL militants, and that machine guns and rocket-propelled grenade launchers were found near the rubble. A statement from a U.S. official says a senior ISIL leader was killed in the airstrike. The leader has been identified as Nuruddin Chuchani and he's linked to two attacks in Tunisia last year, including the attack at a beach resort in Sousse that killed 38 people. Now, for more on these airstrikes, I'm joined by CCTV's Daniel Reinches, live for us in Washington. Uh, Daniel, the military attacks in Libya by the United States have certainly been on the card for some time now. Uh, what more can you tell us about these? They appear to have had this site uh, near Sabritha, which is close to the Tunisian border, under surveillance for several weeks at least. Um, and in the last few days, they became more concerned about what was going on there because they detected activity which was suggestive of some fairly sophisticated uh, military maneuvers that were outside the normal sort of training camp activity that they had observed at the site, suggestive of a potentially an external attack uh, maybe in North Africa, maybe in Europe, uh, but they certainly were very concerned. And they could see that there had been a gathering of foreign fighters, mainly Tunisian, including Noureddin Shushan, who has been named by the Tunisian officials previously for being responsible or involved in the attack on the Bardo Museum, which killed 20. And also U.S. officials are minded that he may have been involved as well in the Seuss Beach attack, which killed 38 foreigners, including 30 British individuals. So this is also a strategic point. So I think they felt at this point that it was uh, justified uh, under international law to take uh, this strike. And local officials, a local mayor there says at least 40 people were killed, many of them foreign fighters. And it, it looks as though this was a successful attack, though the Pentagon has added that they still have to verify whether this individual, this leader, Nouradine Shushan, was in fact killed in this attack. Well, as you say there, Daniel, this has been considered a successful attack. In that case, are we likely to see a sustained campaign against ISIL targets in Libya uh, with the launch of this U.S. Uh, airstrike? Well, as you know, the U.S. and several other allies, including the U.S., uh, the U.K., France and Italy, have been considering a sustained military campaign because they are deeply concerned about the spread of ISIL in North Africa in particular and the uh, level of stronghold that Libya now presents. Um, but on the other hand, from a political perspective, they are minded to wait until, I think, uh, there is news of whether this... Uh, unity government is going to be successful and if so i think you're probably going to see them starting to partner with uh, the unity government if it were to uh, exist and that would give them a much more military effectiveness to provide sustained military airstrike support and also potentially uh, some uh, special forces support on the ground but that's all to come if that unity government doesn't come I think we'll probably see a continuation of the kind of sporadic attacks that we're seeing today. But there will also be pressure because if ISIL continues to spread, continues to gain in Libya, they will have to consider more robust military options going forward, given the proximity to Europe and given the threat to the international community. Daniel Reinches, live for us there in Washington. Thank you very much for that update.